Hey guys, uh, Mount Thames Surplus here. Got a pretty unique item here for you today. Um, it's not too often that we get surplus AKs in and then also even more rare for us to get some that were previously owned by the US military. So what these are, they're Yugo uh, parts kits, Yugo M70 AB2 parts kits built by Century. Um, they were previously owned by the US military for op four training. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically just training. That way uh, US troops can get training on foreign weapons and then also it's when we have our guys act like the bad guys for training purposes. Um, a few other unique things on here, um, if you notice that the, on the bottom here by the, where the serial number and stuff is, they'll have a rack number etched in there, and then right below that they'll have the last four of the serial number also etched on there. Uh, another thing that you'll notice up here on the front site, there are some uh, welds that were ground off. Um, what we think that's for is uh, where BFAs were once welded on there. Um, if you're not familiar with the BFA, it's a blank firing adapter. It's uh, basically put on there, that way when you uh, are shooting blanks, the gun will fully function and cycle, but you also can't shoot a live round in there and have an accident. Um, a few other unique things about these, um, all of ours will have the slant brakes and then this button back here, which is unique to Yugos. Um, this is just an extra lock, that way when you're shooting a, a grenade here, it, your dust cover won't come flying off. Um, some of them will have the cleaning rods, um, some of them will have this little Picatinny rail up here, this uh, Picatinny rail. Um, doesn't have a brand or anything, any markings on it. Almost um, looks like it was uh, modified by maybe somebody in the armory or something like that and put on there. Uh, maybe for some other training device they were putting on there. Um, these are well used guns. Um, not sure exactly where they came from. All we know is that they came from a base in Southern California. So they are well loved. They do have a lot of uh, scuffs and scrapes on them, um, but they look cool with those as well. Uh, like I said, a pretty unique item here. Uh, not only unique for us to get an AK, but with one with such a cool story about um, kind of the rarity of us having a weapon that was once owned by the US military. Um, not every day we kind of know the backstory of them. Um, a lot of times with the police trade-ins, um, you know, police departments from all over the country send them to us, and a lot of times we don't know which department they're actually coming from, so pretty unique for us to know that the U.S. military actually had these for Op 4 training. Pretty limited quantities of these right now. Um, come snag one on the website. Thanks for watching. See you guys.